To understand ratios, you just need to understand this simple story. Gaurav and Jay used to receive chocolates from a mysterious magic hand every day. But the magic hand was a little biased towards Jay. Every time it gave two chocolates to Gaurav, it gave three to Jay. Two to Gaurav and three to Jay. Nobody knew why. Of course, Jay did not complain. So the ratio of the number of chocolates Gaurav got to the number of chocolates Jay got is written as 2 colon 3 or 2 divided by 3. This can be read as 2 is to 3. We are basically comparing the number of chocolates Gaurav got to the number of chocolates Jay got. This went on for quite a few days. So every time the magic hand gave 2 chocolates to Gaurav, it gave 3 chocolates to Jay. Now let's count the total number of chocolates each of them have. Gaurav has 4 and Jay has 6. The ratio now becomes 4 by 6. The magic hand again gives Gaurav 2 chocolates and Jay 3 chocolates. Now the total number of chocolates with Gaurav is 6 and the total number of chocolates with Jay is 9. So the ratio becomes 6 by 9. Both these ratios when simplified will give us 2 by 3. In every case, the ratio has remained the same. What does this mean? If we multiply 2 with 2 and 3 also with 2, we get 4 by 6. If we multiply 2 with 3 and 3 with 3, we will get 6 by 9. And similarly, if you multiply 2 with 4 and 3 with 4, we will get 8 by 12 which is again equivalent to 2 by 3. So all the three ratios are equal to 2 by 3. What does all this mean? It means that if the ratio of two quantities is 2 by 3, then the quantities will be multiples of 2 and multiples of 3 respectively and not necessarily just 2 and 3. A few students have this confusion that the ratio of 2 by 3 will mean Gaurav has just 2 chocolates and Jay just 3 chocolates. If the ratio is 2 by 3, then the quantities will be in the form of 2x and 3x, where 2x and 3x are multiples of 2 and 3. So ratio is basically a comparison of quantities. But there is a bit more to comparison of quantities. We see that next.